Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. We are back here in uh, the forest here, in the hunting grounds. And we're still on the hunt for uh, Wivens, but we have uh, quite a few more uh, little side things we can deal with before we kind of press on with that, with that adventure. Just for a squad of gas, which was a lot of fun. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, blessed Andraste, thank you. I thought I'd die out here. I've been trapped here since last night. Are you all right? Were you yeah. injured? Why were you out here? The gas that chased me here got a few scratches in, but I'll heal. The truth told, I'm not looking for the women. I'm a scholar from Cumberland, researching an Avar cult that once lived here. Okay. They worship the Lady of the Skies to the exclusion of all other gods. I'm searching for their shrine. Oh, I found an altar nearby. I think I've been to your shrine. There were nothing but angry spirits at the site. Nothing else? Pity. I had hoped. Oh, well. The rumors say they were driven from their last refuge. They left a great treasure in the goddess's keeping. But the mountain has defeated me. Please, take my research and see if you can do anything with it. Thank you very much. I will try to make it back to camp. Good luck to you, Sarath. Notes in the Avar Sky Cult. Every Avar holy site, regardless of clan or deity, has a well-hidden opening on the altar which would be aligned with the rising sun of the, on, the, on, the winter, on the winter solstice, where the sacred relics of the god or goddess would be enshrined. This would never be removed, or even in dire emergency, even in dire emergency, for fear of angering the gods. Uh, Avar tales from the uh, from the from the divine age are filled with warnings about those who mysteries or show the least disrespect to the altars of the Lady of the Skies. Unfortunately, the, the superstitious Avars uh, counted a host counted a host of innocuous things as disrespectful, including speaking, coughing, holding objects in your right hand, and possessing anything containing feathers. It is unlikely there is any real danger in approaching the altar. Pfft, well, well, a scholar passed on his research as a cult. If one of the, their altars are found, try a ritual to reveal their secret treasures. Okay, does that mean we, we can go back to that altar? Because if we can, then maybe we can try some kind of ritual, and you know maybe not summon 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 un unholy demons to fight us, because that would be preferable. Are these a natural creature, or did someone create them? The sooner we get the hunt over with, the sooner we'll be at the chateau to finish this. Well, it, 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 he was only asking a question, Talus. It's it's a very reasonable question too. You know, I, I don't know why you have to be so. You know. Just how long has this women hunt been going on? It's an annual tradition. The Montfort began to keep the population down. They breed quickly. You're telling me. And the Orlesian nobility is only too happy to help out. It's a game. The Montforts are so close to the Empress, so anything that pleases them is worth pursuing. Plus, you should really try the Aquai Lucidius. You'll be seeing purple dragons in the sky for days. I'd like to know who thought of making a drink from poison. Was it an accident? Forty crowns a bottle on the black market. Not that I checked or anything. No, no, of course you haven't. These aren't the dogs we need to look for, are they? Supposedly, there are wyverns all over this mountain. I'm guessing those. We'll run across one eventually. Oh, hang on. I have been down. No, we're not. no, no, we have been down here. It is the shrine we need to go to, isn't it? Yes, it is, right. We'll head all the way back there then. I'm just going to assume. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that's that we're going to get something out of this. Still haven't found that fellow's dogs, unfortunately. It's an interesting little, like almost, almost like a freeform kind of quest. It's 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 very very open. So. That must be the altar that weird old guy mentioned. Weird old guy. What do his notes say? Say it's a form s s some kind of crazy house ritual. So we'll we'll do that. I guess that scholar oh. is right about something. No. Oh. I've got kind of a bad feeling about this place, though. Book of the Lady, a sacrificial dagger. And Girdle of the Skies. Okay. It's the Book of the Lady, then, I wonder. 
The Thane of Wyvern Hall, so the story goes, had a vision, and in, and, and in it he beheld his clan sleeping deep in their cups after uh, a feast. And as he watched, they transformed one by one into serpents. The only ones who escaped this fate were those snatched up by eagles and carried away. The Thane took, took this to mean that a terrible calamity would uh, befall his people and that only the Lady of the Skies could save them. So the Wyvern clan forswore all the gods and devoted themselves to the Lady. But the other Avar clans feared that the disrespect of Clan Wyvern would bring the wrath of Korth the Mountain Father upon their people. The other Thanes tried words and then blades, and then, and then blades to change Wyvern's ways without success. When the Tevinter Imperium came with their legions to claim the mountains, many clans were wiped out, enslaved or forced to flee across the, wa across the Waken Sea to the south. Clan Wyvern, however, was not among them. They simply disappeared. And to this day, some Avarthanes will tell you, if they, if they have, a, have, have had enough mead, that the last any soul ever saw of the Wyvern clan was a great flight of eagles descending to their hold. Nice. So we have a couple of things which can maybe equip. Uh, oh, she doesn't have enough dexterity to, to, to equip that. Right. Well, obviously keep the dagger, because may maybe Isabella can use it later on, but I don't know. Uh... Yeah, right. So what about that, that girdle? Can Anders use that? Or does he already have... Yes, he's already got a visionary's girdle, so... We will leave that. At least we've got something. So we need to go all the way down there again, don't we? Yes. So we need one more ingredient to get the, um, what's it called? What's it called? Salve. A salve, yes. To, um, potentially heal any poison which we, which we may suffer. Uh, but I don't know where we're going to get that from. I imagine it probably will be lurking around somewhere in the next area. Which we're going to try and get to now. Because these hunters don't seem to be having much luck in doing, you know, anything. This is going to go badly for them. Never mind this lot. Bisu and General Toxin. It's an interesting, interesting pair of names you guys have there. Uh, so I guess we'll head to this then. Definitely another way to go here, is there? I don't think so. Can't even, can't even scroll. I don't think. No. Okay. So the East Hunting. What was that? Okay. I will uh, just carry on then. <clears throat> well, it certainly smells like we're going the right way. There you go, Hawk. It seems we're on the trail. That's good. As long as it smells like we're on the right way. You're telling me. It's all this then. There's a viewpoint. Pretty countryside, at least. It is beautiful. The water. The water does look really nice in this game. From a clan of Navarin dragon hunters. Well, maybe inherited is the wrong word. What do you call it when you kill someone in order to get all their stuff? Murder. Profitable murder, maybe. Well, a very violent mugging, maybe. Winterberry. There we go. It's good then. It's a tiny dose of the old hunter salves we made. It's not enough for a person, but there may be another use for it. Okay. Oh well. As long as we have it. Injury kit and a health potion. Good. Pro probably going to need them. Look, oh! He wants us to follow him. It's one of the hounds. Okay. Sylvan. Oh god, is it Shit. Let's be very careful here. There's two gas tolls. There's three gas tolls. Watch it. Gas toll. A what Oh, crying out loud. These gas are among the most annoying enemies you, you can actually fight. Jesus Christ. It's because half of them are freaking shooting little, little darts at us.
Come on, guys. We can we can deal with these things, surely. There we go. Bloody things. <laughs> That's. I hope so. How many are there usually? A gasling nest can often be a hundred or more. Just be thankful we're not underground. If we were underground, we'd be dead. Yeah, I'm very happy to admit that. We would be dead right now. Oh, is the dog poisoned? Oh. So this is probably what what we're gonna need the antidote for. I'm almost certain. Poor thing. The salve should help him. Here's yeah. a use for that antidote we made. I hope it works. Who a who a doggo? Who's a cute puppy? Oh. I suppose we can't keep him, can we? His owner is probably waiting back at camp. There we go. Rest update the lost hounds. The poison hound was was cured with the old hunter salve. Its owner may want to know. That's good. So I guess we just follow them back now. We'll probably have to come come back to this this area afterwards. But but we 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 need our reward for this quest, whatever whatever it may be. Even if, even even if it's just some experience, I'll be. Oh, there he is. Hello, it's fine. I am more than grateful, Monsieur. Take this with my thanks. The houndsman, the houndmaster, shortbow. Good. I mean, we we literally don't have anybody who can use it, but it's it's there. That's good. Uh, right, so we can go. There's a there's a there's a, there's a, there's a lot of um. A lot of uh, twisty, windy paths in this in this in this part of the hunting grounds, isn't there? Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Wyvern dung. Oh if god! I write a book about how nature is crazy. This will be a whole chapter. Oh, look at the size of the fucking thing! Looking for clues. Until you wash that off, Hawk, I'm going to stay upwind. Ooh, nug bones. I wonder if a nug call would help attract a wyvern. You know a nug call? You go elbow deep in wyvern shit, and I'm the weird one? She's kind of got a point there, to be honest with you. No, you know what? You're right. You are right there. I will not disagree with you. So what is further up here, then? Wait, what happened to the birds and... Everything. Hmm. I'm gonna turn back. I'm gonna turn back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the other end of this map first because I get the feeling that that is gonna lead to the Wyvern fights. And we are very, we are very close to a level up. So if we can potentially get a little bit more power behind us before we fight these, uh, these, these ghastly creatures, then um, would be it'd be very good for us. Just down here, I think, isn't it? Yeah, because that, that's yeah, cool. This hobnobbing with the nobility suits you. I didn't think you had a particularly high opinion of them. Meant in the best possible way. I knew the day I met you that you'd rise above the rest of the refugees. I wish there were more nobles who had to earn it. Well said, Anders. Very well said. Yes, a lot of them are entitled pricks, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, Lyrian Potion. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get that then. Might be useful if Anders is ever running a bit dry. This is a very fucking wide area, isn't it? I almost don't even want to walk around here. Is that more ghast oh, oh, stuff? A kill. Some kind of holla or something. We must have enough to bait a trap now. In the right spot, no doubt. Yeah, we've we've got about six different things now, don't we? Yeah, draggling corpse, blood, a wyvern, a wyvern mated call, a nook call, and some remains of a haller. So, yeah, if if we can find something, uh, a place to get this done now, I'd be stunned. Uh oh. What the hell is that? Oh. 
Oh boy. Oh shit, Varric, are you okay? Varric being called in a, caught up in a freaking storm there. Right, let us uh, let's get let's get Varric healed immediately. It's freaking hard to sort these guys out, you know, because they keep on spawning. They, they, they constantly attack from a distance. Oh, Anders. Can you heal? Because you, you should probably heal. What's, what's the codex? Occasionally, a pack of gas will include the strange creature known as the Valcastriel. Unlike the common gas, the Velgastriel can wield ma ma wield magic. Some assume that they first learn by lo that they first learn by lurking around and watching other mages. Others believe that gas, like animals, are sensitive to the unseen forces that shape our world, and that the Velgastriel is able to utilize magic purely through instinct. It is unknown if Velgastriels risk, risk possession when casting spells, or the humanoid mages do. God, ima imagine a possessed fucking gas. That just sounds. That's no, I, I I don't even want to imagine. Woo! There we go. Level up. Le level ups are very few, few and far between these days. But I'm sorry, not complaining. And then and there's poor Anders who's just there with his uh, with his slight lack of XP. Right. Uh, definitely a bit more strength and dexterity. What? We we generally don't come very close to dying, tying, so our con constitution should be should be okay at least. Um, what else do we want really? Battle master maybe. But if I have to decide what to actually get, I'll tell you, we'll get that on. Because if we can use that, it might it might bolster our allies a bit. Up her dexterity. So so we can level her up. That's good. Uh, we will give her. Yeah, do that. Uh, generally more dexterity and cunning for Varric. And we will upgrade him with. Backlash, yes. There we go. Right, so on that note, guys, I think we're going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age 2. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.